All right, so we've been busy with other things going on in life, and the 74 Ford has kind of taken a back seat. It's been sitting for a few months now, but we are looking to get started on the restoration again. The big projects to start off with are gonna be getting the gas tank cleaned out for real. We started doing that, but it's still a little dirty inside, so we're gonna be doing that, and also the electrical system, seeing what is salvageable. Unfortunately, it looks like there's quite a bit of mice damage, so those are gonna be the big projects to get done, um, and then hopefully, by the end of this episode, we'll see it at least trying to run. We'll see. We'll see what happens. What's your plan with cleaning out the gas tank? We'll probably try and put some alcohol in there and then put a wrapper rag on the end of that stick and tape it to there so it doesn't come off and then we'll swab out the tank because that sludge I think will dissolve with alcohol. So that's working pretty well. We're just going to yeah. put a longer... Just better reach a little further. Okay, so we rinsed the tank with alcohol, three quarts, and some gasoline actually. We're trying to avoid water because that just seems like a Poor idea. We got it actually pretty clear. For instance, puts the gasoline in it, sloshing it around, and then dumping it out, and it's actually coming back pretty clear. So I think we're gonna call that good. We'll, whenever we get it running, we will check the filter and see, you know, if there's a lot of gunk coming through the system. But for now, we're gonna call that good. I think we're gonna go ahead and put the tank in the truck. So that is some progress. Gas tank is back in, satisfactorily cleaned out. So now, before we put the seat back in, though, we want to get whatever wiring mess needs to be cleaned up under the dash finished while we still have room in here. So seat can't go in yet, but that is going to be pretty soon. So yesterday we got all the spark plugs changed, all the wires to them and everything, coil replaced distributor cap it's new and everything so what's left now before we can see if it runs is to put the carburetor in you don't even need to put the fuel pump in and get the gas line set up because we can just put some fuel in the carburetor float bowl and see if uh, and try to run it and see if it run for a few minutes um, before we do that though I think dad said we're gonna work on some of the wiring a little bit before we start putting stuff back in and making it crowded in there carburetor in and get a battery set up and everything and see if it'll run. Alright, we're gonna see if the engine will turn over here. Be 
do you know about that? Turns over. <clears throat> Hey! I didn't sound too bad. Oh, hold up! Stop! 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 I think I saw a spark over here. That was cool, though. You might have seen a spark here because this is kind of loose. Yeah. Okay. That was impressive. It lit the first time. First, first try. Yeah. Now, so we got we got a loose connection or something over here. We'll work on. But initial results are positive. Kind of sprinkling out here. But it's dry and merry in here because we got a little bit of a fire. That was pretty cool. Big poof of dust from all the belts turning over for the first time in 20 years, I think, is what that was. But um, yeah, it sounded good for the two seconds it was running, so it's exciting. All right, we're patched up, going for round two here. Similar results. What do you think? Oh, we gotta get fuel to it. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? What do I think? It worked! <laughs> so that is pretty satisfying. So that was just a test. We need to now get fuel to it because all we had was just uh, gas in the carburetor float bowl. But it fired right up like the first try no no adjustments or anything like it just just fired right up a little spark situation there was evidently some loose wires there going to the battery from the battery to the starter solenoid so we got those cleaned up and tightened down and tried it again and it fired right up again and ran for a few more seconds so i think it's uh i think it's on the right track now we got to get the whole gasoline uh, gas tank set in there i think we got a new gas gauge coming that's not super critical but the gas line and fuel pump are critical so we're going to get those in there, and then we might have ourselves a working, running truck. But now that we know that all the ignition parts and everything we replaced are good and working properly, that's, uh, that's pretty exciting. I'm excited to take on the next step. So we've got a new fuel pump. Dad, tell us about the fuel pump. Okay, fuel pump goes in the front of the block, and there's a lobe on the camshaft that pushes this up and down. And there's a diaphragm in here and a couple of check valves so it sucks in fuel on the bottom one and pushes it out at the top up to the carburetor. So we are going to be replacing the fuel pump. The old one might be perfectly fine but we do know it's full of nasty gas. Keep the clip of what we did to get rid of the nasty gas. Anyway, so we are going to get to where we can access it, pull it out and replace it with the new one we have. flush out some of that nasty gas we were talking about. Right here, some compressed air. <coughs> yep, that's good. Okay, give it all it's got then. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That turned out to be not too bad. The events of tonight where we changed out the fuel pump and then we cleaned out to make sure the lines were clear to the gas tank. So now all that's left to do before it's like practically in drivable condition, as far as we know anyway, is put gas in the tank <laughs> and start it up. Well, it is about the prettiest weather you could ask for. It's like 50 and beautiful clear sunny skies and today we're gonna see if we can get this truck to run. 
Let's do it. So we're gonna do basically exactly the same process we did to see if it would crank and fire, but this time we actually have gas in the gas tank and the fuel pump has been replaced. So hopefully the running and firing will be sustainable. When you let off the gas, it would die? Yeah. So you're having to keep the throttle on to... Keep pumping it. So, could you start it? Yeah. And I could run the, the throttle from here. what it wants is to be choked. Okay, so we determined it runs. It doesn't run great though. It basically won't idle. So unless you uh, choke it, manually close the choke valve on the carburetor. But it's in a pretty pretty uh, good place. It's running, it's doing its thing. We just need to make some adjustments and uh, see if we can get it to run better. But that will do it for episode two here of the 74 F250 restoration. Stay tuned for episode three, we'll be coming to you where we will tie into whatever fine adjustments we can get into to hopefully make it run better and get it out on the road. So stay tuned.